Welcome back YouTubers to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the Elite Creature Collectibles booth tour at Wonder Festival 2024 in Shanghai, China. Uh, again, this is by VVIP Toys, Anton Wu. So check out his channel and do subscribe. But we're going to go ahead and watch his booth tour and I'll give you guys my opinion. There is his information. So if you need to buy any statues or whatnot, check out his YouTube as well. But let's go ahead and fast forward because we're not listening to that. Alrighty. Right here. We got some pretty cool stuff here, folks. Alrighty. So first off, life-size freaking Velociraptor. Look at that. Look at those glass eyes. Life-size T-Rex head. That one's already gone up for pre-order at like 30 grand. You got another T-Rex. This is a green one. Oh, that is what I am waiting for. Jupiter. Supposed to go up for PO this month. Day one PO for Flinkster. You got... That's actually pretty big. Look at that. It's a maquette. They got some uh, the Spinosaurus ET. Uh, that's the one-third ET. Gotta say, I'm not a fan of that seam line on the arm. That looks bad. There is their Raptor bust, which does look really good, for sure. Look at that. That looks insanely cool. Uh, that's from Ghostbusters. So that's like a, a sneak peek of everything. They're going to go into more detail. I got to say, if I had the space, I would so buy that life-size T-Rex and Raptor. Like, if I had space and the money. Uh, yeah, this, I absolutely freaking love it. Obviously, I have my Raptor bust, but I would love a, just a full-size Raptor. Like, if I had a mansion, for example... And as ultra wealthy, you could bet you I would buy this in a heartbeat. Really good looking glass eyes. Elite Creature Collectibles is one of the best in the game when it comes to glass eyes. They like started it. Look at that mouth detail. The paint out looks perfect. That is absolutely crazy. I like the pose. Although this thing is obviously a massive space hog, especially since they did the tail fully extended. And look at that. That thing's ready to freaking eat you. Insanely good. Not a fan of the base, if I'm honest. Uh, you know, I would have loved some sort of environmental base, but the head itself is freaking perfect. You know, it's obviously enormous and impeccable paint app in detail. You know, like that is insanely good. I'm curious how many collectors will actually be like purchasing that. But look at that inner mouth detail. Like that is just freaking perfect. Huge, huge fan of this piece for sure. I like it. Now, I think Queen's T-Rex bust is much more reasonable to purchase. Much easier to display. A lot cheaper. You get more body. But this, for sheer size, will just be insane. You know, it's like a life-size T-Rex head. Very, very few collectors will be buying that. So, this could be the Lost World, like, male... T-Rex, then you got the skeletons, which I'm curious if there's a big market for that. You know, it's they're still pretty pricey. It looks like, you know, I don't know if it's two different scales or one's supposed to be like a baby. All right, here you got one of their newer raptors, actually two new raptors. So the Lost World and then one's like jumping up, which, you know, I like this one. I think it looks good. The base, not a huge fan, like Prime One's bases are way better. This one's kind of crazy. I mean, look at that pose. I guess it's a lot easier to display, but I don't remember a white striped raptor, so I don't know if that's from a movie or just unpainted. And you got a Spinosaurus. Very simple base. This would match their T-Rex really nicely. I'm assuming it's, you know, like 1 12th scale looking at the size. This is what I'm a huge fan of. Now, first off, you do have a life-size Tooth Fairy, Hellboy 3rd scale, he looks freaking perfect. Why are they moving him? He's like, look at that giant. Uh, so he does come with the big baby and uh, his pistol. I'll probably be displaying the big baby. Got some like dust on his freaking head. You know, and then you got the life-size tooth fairy in a little glass, like broken glass case. I like that. I do like this. I think it looks good. Hate the base, but the actual. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but the giant bird dinosaur does look really well done. I like that. This, okay, so we got 
a mechanical T-Rex. I believe this is the one that's like actually can move. You got the eyes. I actually do like that. That's actually really cool. I, I believe that's just a raptor eye, raptor claw. I know there's also like the life-size T-Rex eye, which is pretty cool. I know that one went up for PO. They've been selling just like different props and whatnot. And then that is the one fifth scale, I believe, a full body Velociraptor, which that went up for PO already. It's more like a museum style. That, that's their thing with Jurassic. It's all museum style where I prefer the like prime one styled stuff. You know, the more environmental. You got a Jaws piece. That's decently sized. I do like that. I think it's pretty cool. I remember going to Universal Studios as a kid and they always had the life-size version on display there and I always thought it was so cool. And I'd always take photos. I'm not the biggest fan of the Jaws movie. You know, it's okay. Nothing I'm like, you know, it's not nostalgic for me by any means. I couldn't get through E.T. I tried. I watched 20 minutes. I was bored out of my mind. Not a fan of that seam line. I think that seam is horrible. They got to fix that. Yeah, that seam is really nasty. Otherwise, I mean, it obviously looks like E.T. I didn't watch the movie, so I can't tell you if, you know, he's holding a pot of flowers in it, but I'm sure he is. That chick's kind of hot. All right. Then you have another raptor and a T-Rex. You got a giant, like, poster, Sioux Tyrannosaurus Rex. I doubt that's for sale. Probably just for show. But you never know. ECC's been doing lots of crazy stuff lately, especially with the Jurassic stuff. You know, they've been selling lots of random stuff. And this is, I guess, like a T-Rex that was found in the ground, and that's the actual, like, photos I do like their Raptor bust. I think it does look really good. I'm not the biggest fan of that base, and the base is quite big, yet it's not, like, super cool looking. The actual, like, just that itself, amazing. I do prefer a little bit more open mouth like my current one. I just don't like this base. It looks like just not something I dig. The eyeball does look different than mine, but I do like that eyeball. I think it looks really cool. Then you have the Ghostbusters, like, library ghosts. Now, in the action, this movie, which is the second Ghostbusters newer movie with an Ant-Man actor, I did not like this movie. I thought it had a really good buildup, but then the actual main villain at the end just sucked. Now, this scene was okay. It is a cool-looking ghost, like in the movie, but this bust in, in itself is better than the entire movie. Like, that is crazy looking. All that goo in the mouth, the glass eyes, the crazy hair, the cloth everywhere. I like that. I think that's sick looking. You know, so for those who love Ghostbusters, you know, it's great that ECC's giving you something. This is a concept piece by them. It's like a scorpion something. Rather, something very similar. Yeah, scorpion. Steve Wang, he made that predator. What else sick that is? That was the prototype. So, yeah, he made this as a concept. Pretty freaking cool. You know, I could definitely see that in the movies, and that is it. So, overall, very impressive showing by ECC. They showed quite a few new items, which are very impressive. You know, and this is their the website. Even though they say ECC, it's also like Cinemacat. I don't know if they're two separate companies at one point, but the website is cinemacat.com. You know, this is where, like, for example, I got uh, this Ape Sapien maquette, and the maquettes is the one-thirds or full statues, and then they also have some bust on here as well. It's kind of weird. But if you go to Elite, it's mostly, you know, like here you see this male raptor. Of course, you have to log in for price. Alrighty, so almost uh, 1600 bucks. Shipping will be a few hundred. 36 inches wide. Dude, that is humongo. You know, T-Rex life-size head, 18000 Plus, you know shipping is going to be, like, ridiculous. That is still so cool, though. Yeah, so you got the Jurassic Park T-Rex eye. I do like this quite a bit. However, $900 for the eye. 
13 by 12. I mean, it's a decent sized piece. You know, it's definitely a really cool looking eye, but that price I can't get past. Yeah, I do have Hellboy bust on PO, and you got a bunch of other Jurassic stuff. Yeah, like these, like this, thirty-two fifty. I mean, it's one eight scale, but still, dude, that's more than my Prime One Rotunda, which is one eight, and it, you know, it's not just a little skeleton. So they're definitely on the pricier side of things, no doubt, but they are very impressive in person. Now, like that ET maquette. I wonder if they're gonna fix that seam line. How much is this? Fifteen hundred. Anyways, folks, let me know what you guys think of the ECC booth from Shanghai. Right now, they do have New York Comic Con going on, so you know, I'll probably do some videos on the statues that occurred there. We still have the J&D booth tour we got to check out for Shanghai, then we'll move on to PCS. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.